I'm gonna do the tutorial. <laughs> Hello, buddy. My name is Mr. Bonesy, and welcome back to One Two Three Slaughter Mystery. Now, last time I played this, it was with a friend, and I wanted to get him to be scared for Halloween. Oh, um, and I actually asked if you guys wanted me to finish this game because he didn't finish it. He didn't get that far into it. And uh, throw up the comment. And here I am. I'm actually going to finish this. Now, I actually was dreading this because I saw a certain things saying this was like RNG based and it gets difficult near the end. And that kind of like kind of scared me off a little bit from getting right to it. But then I decided I got to at least do it before this year's over. I did say I, if you guys wanted me to play it and it was a yes. So I was like, I got to do it. So here I am. Uh, this video might be edited differently because I didn't really talk as much because I wanted to pay attention and beat this. But I'm going to. Splice it up. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Fuck it out. <laughs> it was so loud. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so worried. I okay. I'm only worried. <laughs> I'm only getting like anxious because I know I'm not gonna succeed the first time around. But it's also because I know that when I fuck up, it's gonna be because I'm gonna be weirdly clicking these keys because they're kind of odd. Flashlight is space. Which is fine, but the fact that it turns off every so now and then is a little tedious, in my opinion. And since Q is the turnaround, and having to hold forward, then go, it hit Q, and then hit space, is kind of like, my brain can't, for some reason, can't, like, do a circle of that. It just does them out of order, and it messes me up. You're fucking fast as shit! He is so fast! I did it! Okay, I figured out the strategy. Don't just keep turning around, because he just immediately jumps ahead. Oh, my heart's beating out of my chest! <laughs> That's, uh... This game's stressful. It's like the FNAF stress I get. It's like coming up, it's coming back. The FNAF stress I get from playing those games because of the failure, not the difficulty or scaredness. Just the fact that I could fail and have to do it again. I'm trying to figure out the strategy. I finally got past floor, floor five. I passed Kotaro's score, so practically anything after this is new content. I know there was a new monster. I'm not sure. Okay, so what I've learned about this game, by the way, from looking it up, looking it up, not really true, but what I've learned about being interested is that floor seven, it's just the follower. Floor six, it's just the greeter, I think. The pink guy, it's just him. There's no follower. And then that floor I just did, floor five, was two of them. Saying, like, basically introducing you to both mechanics. Now, I'm not sure if the waiter, the new guy, is going to show up. Is going to be paired with these guys, or if it's just going to be by himself, which would be nice. But, I do know after, if it is just him, that means the last three floors are just hit being harder and harder and harder. Someone, has, uh, someone new has come to play. Listen closely, by the way. So I'm guessing that means I'm not alone. <laughs> Fuck, okay. There is someone new. Oh shit, I'm dead. Fuck! I went too forward. Okay! The waiter is not hard. Oh fuck, I forgot! Okay, I made it! I beat floor five. Okay, I gotta turn this flash- I gotta leave the flashlight on during this, which is kinda weird. I like having the flashlight on at all times, cause it helps me see. What? I, I, but I thought you could have turned on the flashlight at that point. Fuck, I'm dead. Okay, I'm actually getting the hang of it.
I- That was so confusing. Okay. Flashlight. 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 I'm just gonna spam space. Okay. Okay! Let's go! I'm figuring this out. I'm sorry I'm being quiet. I'm, I'm probably gonna have like dubbed over. I'm probably gonna edit this video in a different way. All right. So I don't know how I'm gonna edit this video, but I'm gonna explain here. My strategy, I'm figuring it out. The thing that's, okay. What's difficult, I think the hardest person is the follower. The follower seems to be the strongest one of the three, which is funny that he's the first one that's sh shown and he's the hardest one, I think. It's because, it's kind of like FNAF. If you if you know the mechanics of Five Nights at Freddy's, one, I'm just, for simple uh, simplicity, the, let's say 420 mode, they, you don't actually see them move around, they just teleport between cameras, and they usually teleport to what's closest, but in harder difficulties, they go so fast that there's no point in trying to capture them. So they go from, like, the stage to the hallway to, like, the this, that, they just move down quickly, so they're just kind of, like, doing this, basically, all over the place. The follower acts like that, where he's behind you, and he does get slowed down if you look at, like, flash him with your flashlight, but when you look away, he quote unquote is moving towards you, but his speed just randomly gets increased or lowered, I think. Because sometimes you'll be like far away, and then other times he gets really close to you. And I think a combination of him and then the uh, the greeter, not, no, not the greeter, the waiter might be bad, because I think I should look around or behind me each time I get him. Because each time I get him, I just turn and keep walking, which might not be good, because he's fast, the follower. What floor am I on now? Running around and flashing a lot will anger your friends. Oh, shut up. I- I flashed him? He had a glowing item on him? I'm dead. I hit- I tapped W, but it didn't go forward. I had to hold it. Okay, I did it. No, don't tell me that fucked up, because I saw it turned off before the moves of black. All right, yes! Ooh, okay. Okay. I don't even know how much floors are left. I haven't been paying attention. Oh my god, I'm like... Once again, it's just like I said earlier, it's like I'm having that FNAF stress level. Like, my hands are somewhat shaking. They're not crazy shaking right now, but they're shaking. Holy... Oh my god. Okay. It, I'm actually getting the hang of it. Oh, there's no titles this time. <laughs> there's nothing. <laughs> Floor two. I'm dead. Ah, oh, the flashlight is so annoying. I don't like spamming it. I, w I, hate I wish it was more consistent. Oh, I did it. Okay. 
Oh, yes! I think I have one more floor left. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> the laughter got me. I did it! And this is a floor zero. Wait, was that the it or is there a floor zero? Is there a ground floor? If there's a ground floor, I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be I heard a laughter on that floor, so that had to be the last one. Right? Yeah! Oh my- why is everything on fire? Can I move? No. What's happening? God damn, this is like FNAF 3 all of a sudden. Oh wait, I see something. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> yeah, I you bet you didn't expect me to beat you. Now did ya? The fuck did I just hear? Alright, you guys' eyes look weird. You're a lot bigger than I thought you were gonna be, wall waiter. You're a lot bigger than I thought. Yo. Thank you. Group hug, guys. Group hug. I did it. To be continued. I know. There's a sequel. And also, this game's getting a remake, which I am surprised to hear. I'm actually excited for that remake. I did it! Why is the... Why is... The, maybe it's just my, my eyes playing tricks on me. It looks like this is in bad frame rate. This credits. I did it! I beat one, two, three, Slottery Street. Yay! That was actually not that hard. <laughs> I remember when I was like doing research on it after that first video was posted. I was like, oh, I won't look into this game. And uh, I saw how like people were like doing retrospectives. And I was like, oh man, sure, I'll, I'll look into it. And then like a lot of people said that it's RNG based, which is why I was like, oh man, really? I'm gonna, is my luck is gonna get me, screw me over. This did not feel like luck based, by the way. The only thing that's luck based is. I don't know what the text was saying. I didn't know it was gonna be, or because we didn't. Someone's pulling up like some metal. What's happening? Oh. Gameplay? We'll see you soon. Did I just go to hell or something? Like, what the hell? <laughs> what the f okay. I did it! I know there's relics. I only got two of them. Cut down in its youth. Prov uh, this provides many meals with unseen uses. See? But I don't care about this stuff. You have to get the- I'm guessing- That would be impo- Well, it's not impossible. It's just annoying to get these. Because I think you have to look down the hallways and then hear that little like- da -da -ding, And then you collect it. Uh, cause, uh, but there's so many hallways in this game, and the fact that the weight- Okay, but that was not hard. That was not hard, I would say. If, if anything, the only thing that was luck-based was the, uh, well, I guess the greeter as well, but the greeter's not hard to deal with, honestly. 
It's one of those things where the greeter and then the follower work together, which is what they're supposed to do. So, because you could get rid of the waiter, just walk. He's not faster than you. So, like, you don't have to ever worry about him catching. At least I never had to worry about it. Maybe that, don't, maybe it's not 100% true. Maybe it is luck based, and I got really lucky. Just gonna say that, just in case someone yells at me for saying bad information. But from my experiences, the follower is not faster than you. When you turn around and he's like stunned and you keep turning around, you're stopping. So even when you don't look at him, he's probably still getting closer to you. So like, let's say you're ha halfway turning. He's probably still, ooh, gotcha, before you flash him or something. So it's bad to just keep doing that and then like hesitating to walk forward because then he's just going to get you. But from my experience is that if you just keep rocking, he's never going to catch up, which is why the follower is there, not the follower, which is why the greeter is there to stop you. But I learned that if you, he's just scared by a flashlight, not even if you, fla I thought you had to turn on your flashlight while looking at him and then turn around because I thought you had to actually flash him. No, I just turned around and turn on the flashlight and then I wait until a sound effect is over. And when it's done, he's no longer in my pathway anymore. So that was my strategy for the, the, uh, the greeter. The waiter, I thought might have been difficult and he kind of is. I've heard a complaint that, well, I mean, I heard a complaint that like, it's supposed to be like directional, but it only plays through stereo. So like, if he, if there's two doorways, it's hard to tell which one he's in. But I never came across two doorways that was like that in this game. So maybe that was luck base. I've also been told that the maps are always the same. It's always the same hallway, but I never came across two doors. I don't know what that's about. Um, very short game though, honestly. It's a nice, it's nice. I like it. I like the gameplay aesthetic to it. I like the, uh, I don't know. I thought it was pretty fun, honestly. I can look on Steam to see how much it costs. Because I, well, I want to judge it from that. Right now, it's 74 cents on sale up until December. Oh, no, up until November 28th. But $3? E yeah, that's worth it. That's not, that's not too much for its price. That's like what it is default. Right now, it's 74 cents. That's uh, I think I said that, though. But, um... Yeah, that's actually not bad. This is not bad of a game. It's just a nice, like, game to play. It's only a 30-minute experience. $3. Nice gameplay element. It's a nice... I, I wouldn't say replay value. Unless you really care about relics. But it's nice... Uh, I don't know what the word for it is. But it's a nice uh, game. I like it. And that was pretty fun. Um, Now I got 1, 2, 3, Salatory Street 2. Which I also have. But I, I'm going to take a break on that. <laughs> Maybe I'll get Ko Kotaro to play because I know he wants to do it as well. So that was, but this was fun. Uh, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.